Hi everyone, this time I will show you a way to detect simple gestures on Android, so gestures like t single tap, double tap, uh, long click, uh, fling, scroll and so on. Here you can see an example. Another example is my little app on Google Play. You can check it, link is in description. Ok, we can start here, you can see that I have a text view inside the relative layout and I gave a relative layout ID of rel. Simple enough, go to main, as you can see I have already initialized my two views, so text view and relative layout, and now I will set on touch listener on this relative layout. Ok, it needs to return true of course, and now to be able to detect this gestures we are going to use gesture detector we will name it detector and on our own create method we will call it so detector equals new gesture detector and here we need the parameter context so we will just type get application context for the second parameter it needs a gesture a listener so we will create a new gesture listener create inner class gesture listener and remove this implementation and set it uh, to extends a simple on gesture listener ok now control O on windows and you can select these methods so we will select single tap uh, double tap link and on long press ok now when we set all these methods to return true that means that each of them will be fired if the user makes a gesture now the problem is that sometimes we don't need all of them to activate in that case we can just make a string that will store our input touch state and by comparing that string to our needs, we will do some work. You will see. Create a new string. Call it, let's name it action. And now on each of our events, type a corresponding string value. And also make each method return true. I will speed it a video clip here. One thing I want to point is that uh, on long press is void method, so it doesn't have to return anything. So next, we need to pass our touch event to our gesture detector. So we will do that by typing uh, detector dot on touch event and type event from our relative layout event listener. Then we just check for our string stored value and we compare it to the desired action so this is quick speed up so you can see on each action I am making a text view change its text to uh, to the clicked action so let's see uh, emulator now when we tap we get a single tap, when we long tap when we get a long tap, double tap, swipe, swipe is actually fling and so on and so on. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye.